Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. Well, I was able to get out today and go to Goodwill Color Tag Sale where everything of a certain color is $1.99 and it is a balmy 60 degrees today here in Minnesota. In fact, it's the anniversary of the Edmund Fitzgerald um, ship sinking as many of you may have heard of and they were saying how November can be so unpredictable so I was happy to get out and the first thing I found was a King James version of the Bible and I always pick up Bibles and like the cashier said and I've heard it said before that they shouldn't be selling Bibles but they're usually fairly inexpensive and I pick them up to give them away and then I found this fun US map disc states and capitals and there's nine of these cards for each section of the United States and then this spins and you see a state and then on the back it tells you um, the state and the capital so I thought that was a fun vintage game. I think that's from the 70s and um, if anything else it'll be a nice uh, fun game someday when I have children or grandchildren excuse me someday. I found a couple household items that were new in the container. This is a Starbucks cold to go lid and there's actually three lids in there and they were selling fairly nicely and I think this is 2015 so there's still a new item and then the original simmer mat no burnt food I thought I would check this out um, and they are seem to be selling but again if I can't sell it I might just try it um, I tend to boil over rice and spaghetti. I make a large quantity at one time and then save it in the refrigerator for over the the week. Um, can make quick meals just warming warming it up, adding ingredients, but I oftentimes boil it over. So I will try to sell. If not, um, I will use it, and it is. A little bit heavy so shipping might I don't know if that's going to be a deterrent or not and then I found Batman sheets and I have found sheets I did a I didn't show the sheets that I'd gotten a week or so ago I had gotten a vintage Mickey and Minnie Mouse sweetheart sheet one twin sheet $1.50 I actually sold it for $41 with free shipping and of course not all sheets sell that well but the um, kid sheets seem to do fairly well especially the ones that are a little bit vintage so and at the price I pay if they don't sell I can just use the sheet as a rag or I cover in the fall I cover my garden when it gets cold at night always can use extra sheets and then I found a few of the plus size clothing and this is another area that I find and seem to do fairly well and I know what it's like to have a hard time finding clothes that fit I am unusual size for normal um, clothing sizes so I appreciate when I can find something that is nice and fits well and is not terribly expensive. So this is a Dress Barn 1820. It's a nice little kind of like short sleeve jacket. It's kind of a heavy cotton, real pretty pink and it's got pretty buttons. So um, I may try to put it up on eBay once and if it doesn't sell I think I'll wait again until the spring. Then I found a nice glittery kind of Christmas type top and this is a 3X 
real pretty blingy. And then I found this one is Elaine Bryant. Still has the tag on it. And this is a 2628, kind of a neat, um, where it kind of uh, stretchy at the top and then kind of balloons out. And there's um, no sleeves with the straps, so that's real pretty. And then a nice, just an everyday type dress. It's by Denim and & Company, and it is also a 3X. So I will try those. And usually, you know, I pay $1 to $2 for an item like this. And, you know, um, can get sell them for $15 to $20. So not a, you know, not a big amount. But again, I'm just happy that somebody can find something that will fit and is nice. I found a couple purses. This is um, from Wilson leather and I like small black purses and the one I have is just a titch too small for my wallet and my phone so if this doesn't sell I will actually inherit it so this part is leather and this part is fabric and then I found I don't need, I'm not quite sure how to say that name I don't know if you can see it Etienne I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's um, I guess this is their logo and it's fabric with some leather, real clean inside. It's a nice size purse. And then I was able to find some like um, briefcase backpack type thing. This is from Duck Wear. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but these are selling quite, quite well. Um, has lots of pockets and you know for pans just a nice casual briefcase or um, overnight bag backpack type thing and then I found this pretty pink leather briefcase it is from Wilson leather um, just a few condition errors or um, condition issues but just a real nice ladies uh, briefcase so I thought I would try that and see how that does and in the back it has like for a, a pad of paper and a little corner pocket here sorry I'm not paying attention to camera screen and then this this was on the colored tag sale for so this was a dollar ninety nine and it is old and it does have some condition issues as well but it is just the neatest briefcase just it's it's leather I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand leather and it's got some leather um, partitions in it. I'll let it focus again. Just a really neat bag and the guy that was checking me out, I don't know if he was 40 maybe, he said he remembered his grandpa who was a lawyer carried a briefcase like this and um, I'm not sure what the vintage it is. I'm assuming it's old I mean, it could have been made yesterday for all I know, but it looks old. It's just just a really nice piece. And people like old vintage leather bags, so I don't think the condition issues will be an issue. So I'll just put it up there and do the research and see what, what starting price I should put it at and just see how it goes. And as a lot of my things, if it doesn't sell, I would love to own it as well. So, those are the things that I found today. A um, couple days will be Veterans Day. Thrift stores in my area will have 50% off. So, I will be out and about with that as well. So, thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.